I've been obsessed with reading books that have been adapted into movies, right? Like if I love the movie, let's just see. I might really enjoy the book. That was not the case with this one, right? Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. It's Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today is all about the book, Something Borrowed, okay? This book is written by Emily Giffen. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature romance, okay? So listen, I was expecting it to be similar to the movie. I love the movie. I mean, Anne Hathaway, come on, forget it. This book is so much better. So now I had to do a little bit of research, right? So you have a book, it's not just as easy as, oh, let's turn it into a movie. There's a screenplay writer, there's an adaptation. Sometimes the author is involved, sometimes they're not. Dex in this book is amazing. Dex book is really really funny really really charming right and he genuinely loves Rachel. Dex really comes off as being really shallow just kind of being on the fence about marrying Darcy and that's why he gets with Rachel in the movie and in the book it's this whole drawn out thing where he's like oh my god I'm making this huge mistake oh my goodness I can't do this like the guilt trip of his mom being sick in the movie. You do see where Rachel and Dexter were flirting before but like this book goes into all of the details. Like I hate it when they went shopping for houses and that Dex couldn't tell his family. I hate it when Ethan ended up telling Rachel that he was obsessed with her and it like kind of didn't fit. It's not in here. When Rachel goes to London, it's such a bigger part of this book. Rachel goes out with Marcus so many more times in the book, right? In the movie, it's kind of like, oh, he's flirting with her. Oh, he thinks she's cute. No, they actually like date and have some good conversations in the book. So, so I guess I'm not mad at the movie because you can't put everything from this book into the screenplay. But like Dex is so much more intriguing in here. His relationship with Rachel is so much more intriguing in here. Like it's just so much more, it's just so much better, right? And so like, they cut out a lot of just Dex pondering and thinking and how Rachel's doorman knew him because that's how often he came over to the house. And that makes for a much more compelling book when you actually get to see that Dex had some truly, truly genuine feelings for Rachel. And it makes you happy when they end up together, right? Like, okay, I wasn't expecting to read this and be team Dex, but I am, okay? Also another thing, I'm a lawyer. I have a podcast about lawyers who don't want to practice anymore, change their mind, do all this stuff. I was excited to read the book and see about that. It's not in the book. In the movie, they have this whole conversation about, would you rather be a school teacher? Oh, I hate being a lawyer. Yes, Rachel complains about being a lawyer. Every lawyer complains about being a lawyer. Dex was obsessed with his job. Reasons why Dex started talking to Rachel is because Darcy could care less about his job. In fact, one of the big things about the book that drew Dexter to Rachel is that Darcy never wants to hear about his job. And yes, he complains about it, but like he idolized his bosses. He looked up to them a lot. One of the bosses had broken off an engagement twice and Dex has this whole spiel about, wow, what made you do that? Oh my God, am I reconsidering? And in the movie, he's just like wishy-washy, right? And so, I don't know. I mean, Kate Hudson is a much bigger star, so maybe they had it like favor to her. But the book is all about Dexter and Rachel. Like, all right, so speaking of lawyers, take a look at this video here, which is all about making five second decisions that will change your life. And the author is a lawyer, all right? So take a look at this and I'll see you in the next one. 